you're looking for something a bit special off the beaten track, Djibouti could be the place for you. As a small East African port country, it offers a unique opportunity to explore fascinating sights above and below sea level. It's a place where continents divide and also a place of great military importance, at least the legendary French Foreign Legion. You'll be transported to your liverboard and greeted by a crew and dive guides who really know these waters well. This is where the Red Sea ends and meets the Gulf of Aden, so the diving is very different. The undersea terrain is predominantly volcanic. Water temperatures are in the high 20s and visibility can be low because of the plankton blooms between October and January. This is good news though, because it's this rich super marine life that attracts the big stuff. When looking for whale sharks, with the occasional fly past by the military helicopters, you'll be armed with nothing more than snorkels and cameras. But here in the Bay of Tajura, the world's biggest shark congregates in large numbers. You'll be amazed at just how close they pass by as they hunt out the greatest concentrations of plankton. Sometimes two, even three sharks may appear together. Scuba Travel's Djibouti whale shark trip, as featured on the BBC, certainly makes for an unforgettable experience. It's also worth making an overland excursion. Take in a dramatic canyon in this land of extremes, wild baboons near the roadside, and the stunning salt lake Lacassel, at 150 metres below sea level, the lowest point in Africa. So Djibouti really is a land of extremes, not only the world's biggest shark, but here in Lake Lacassel, one of the lowest places on Earth, one of the saltiest places on Earth, and between the months of July and August, one of the hottest places on Earth, with temperatures reaching between 55 and 60 degrees Celsius. For more information about the boats and the Djibouti schedule, go to our website at scuba.co.uk